This is the story of water. Hartford's Metropolitan District Commission, the MDC. It's the story of a community that had the vision to invest in a water system and that would safeguard its viability for more than a century. And how that vision has ensured an abundance of water as the economic lifeblood of our region. The story of water in the Hartford region begins and ends with the Connecticut River. In the beginning, Hartford took its drinking water from the river, but by the mid-1800s, taking drinking water from the polluted Connecticut River created health risks and threatened the area's economic viability. So they created a series of small reservoirs in West Hartford, but by the turn of the century, these small reservoirs couldn't keep up with the demands of the growing city. Enter the MDC, who had the very best engineers in America, and used that genius to design and build a gravity-fed water system that was brilliantly conceived. Everything has to work together in order to get the water from point A at the reservoirs, through the treatment plants, into the distribution system, to someone's faucet. This is the story of big dams, deep reservoirs, and huge sandbag filters. The two main MDC surface reservoirs were built to withstand drought. When full, they store nearly 40 billion gallons of water. So much water that if no rain were to fall for a year and a half, the MDC would still be able to supply its customers. But the sheer volume of the MDC reservoirs is only half the story. Attention to detail every step of the way makes MDC's Class AA water one of the purest and highest quality waters anywhere. To make sure that the water is pure and clean when people turn on the tap, it's an amazing amount of work, actually. It starts with location. The upland location of the MDC large surface reservoirs means they are less exposed to potential pollution or impurity. In addition, the 31,000 acres of protected watershed means MDC water quality and quantity benefits from the natural filtration of pristine and expansive forest lands. Even though the water in the reservoirs is of high quality, it is filtered and processed both for home and commercial use. It's a system that reliably supplies nearly 400,000 customers with almost 50 million gallons every day, with the water being constantly monitored for the highest quality every step of the way. The first line of defense against any microorganisms or impurities are the sand filters in West Hartford and Bloomfield. The large sand filters are an incredibly simple but effective idea. It's actually very similar to rain falling on the ground. The slow sand filters in West Hartford are the largest sand filters in North America. A few miles away in Bloomfield, the Reservoir 6 plant uses a more conventional rapid sand filtration. Before the water is sent out, it is tested and treated. pH is adjusted. The water is disinfected with minimal amounts of additives. And because every glassful must be perfect, Daily samples are tested multiple times every step of the way with redundancy built into the system to ensure uninterrupted supply. And the MDC provides another benefit for its customers, recreation on some of its lands, a wildlife habitat, hiking, a place of beauty and serenity just to get away from it all. And the Farmington River would not be a big and powerful river and such a great trout stream if the MDC didn't manage the water levels all year long, releasing a minimum of 32 million gallons of water per day. Prior to the MDC's Goodwin Dam, the natural flows of the Farmington River were significantly lower. So, there it is, the MDC story of bringing an abundant supply of pure, clean water to Connecticut. A multi-level approach, combining high water quality sources surrounded by expansive watershed that both protects and purifies pristine reservoirs and finished off with comprehensive testing and minimal treatment. Our job is to be as smart and plan for the next hundred years. And it's a, a huge task. The challenges are larger. The regulatory issues are much greater. But we have to maintain this gem, this jewel that was built for us 
and we have to take care of it and improve it for the next generation.